And I, I uh, teach software engineering, I teach uh, programming, uh, I teach uh, artificial intelligence, uh, stuff like that. But I also teach uh, educational technologies at this university, at different levels of uh, education. So that's uh, my background. Uh, again, uh, education is uh, uh, both, nowadays it's both pedagogy and technology. I come from the technological side, although I believe that uh, pedagogical component is the foundation and then we can uh, probably build uh, on, uh, on that. Uh, what I'm going to uh, tell you a few words about is uh, related to one aspect of uh, education, one, one very important component of education, uh, and that's assessment. Uh, many people are talking uh, more about uh, the content and then um, instructional technologies, uh, instructional design, stuff like that. But I'm really interested in assessment alone because uh, that's uh, when uh, what we teach to our students uh, comes to reality check and uh, we should somehow be able to, to validate and verify uh, what they learned from us. Uh, Assessment nowadays in the context of, uh, well, what do we call this, uh, hybrid, uh, flipped, uh, whatever models. Uh, assessment changes as well, uh, not only instructional design, not only uh, the content, not only the technologies, assessment is changing. And what I believe is uh, that uh, with uh, technologies we should uh, adapt somehow to two things, uh, one of them being uh, new educational models. Uh, and also uh, to the demands of uh, industry, uh, well, job market, whatever, because once uh, our students uh, go out of universities, uh, they should be able to uh, demonstrate knowledge, uh, practical knowledge, when they want to get the job in industry. So this is the context. And Four years ago, uh, we... Uh, got the grant from European Commission uh, for this project that we uh, called GRASS, Grading Soft Skills, which was very challenging because we uh, wanted to um, build some models for grading not only hard skills uh, that we are trying to uh, teach to our students in different areas, uh, but we also wanted to uh, somehow make a system that uh, can, uh, one way or another, uh, grade uh, quantitatively, if you want, grade uh, how good they are in collaboration, communication, uh, or maybe in their enthusiasm to, to evaluate uh, their leadership or whatever. So we um, got that grant. Uh, it was really, uh, you know, in, in a very hard way. Uh, for the first time w when I uh, got the evaluation, uh, the proposal was rejected. And uh, I was working on it for months and months, and uh, I assembled a good team and so on. But the proposal was rejected, uh, only to learn in uh, two or three months later that uh, actually somebody else uh, who got the grant uh, just uh, decided to give up. And uh, it turned out that uh, my proposal was the first one beneath the line of those who were accepted for funding. So they, uh, there was that, that email the other day uh, from the European Commission. Uh, hey, Vadan, come on, did you uh, still want your project? Uh, we got some funding for you. Yeah, well, why not? Uh, I didn't know it worked that way, but it did. Three years later, w when we uh, completed the project, um, I uh, have, uh, I, I really have proudly to say that it was voted to be uh, one of uh, the three best projects in that generation of, of uh, projects funded by the Euro European Commission in the uh, area of education. Uh, out of uh, three, uh, three of them were voted the best out of uh, 296. So yeah, I was, I was really happy. And then, uh, then comes uh, you know, my uh, uh, glory and fame. Uh, they invite me to uh, the uh, online Educa in, in Berlin, uh, the, uh, the most uh, famous uh, educational affair in Berlin. And there's uh, this big room uh, with the guys from the European Commission, and uh, the three of us are presenting our projects. It was really uh, just uh, our dreams come true and so on. The project was uh, about uh, assessment, essentially. Uh, but how do you uh, assess uh, soft skills? That was uh, really interesting. 
We came up during uh, our uh, three-year research uh, with this conclusion. You typically assess soft skills along with assessing hard skills. So not just, uh, okay, somebody's a good collaborator in general, but uh, a good collaborator in uh, what context, okay? Or somebody's a good uh, team leader. Uh, what is the context? Uh, what kind of hard skills go uh, along with, uh, with their leadership and so on? Mm -hmm. The other thing, uh, you have to have some new uh, approaches if you want to uh, grade soft skills, which is unusual. Uh, people usually can't tell if somebody is a good uh, communicator or uh, a very enthusiastic person or so on, but uh, if you want to put it on a scale uh, between, say, 1 and 10, uh, then it's not that easy. So the new approach that we found uh, interesting for our project uh, was based on digital badges. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with digital badges, but uh, they uh, essentially look like, like these guys here. So you uh, observe or uh, evaluate or uh, somehow assess someone's skill someone's uh, level of uh, uh, mastery, someone's achievement or whatever. And then you say, okay, uh, my uh, evaluation says that uh, you are this or that good. Uh, or maybe you can ask uh, their peers to evaluate uh, their achievement, uh, their, uh, uh, their knowledge, their, their mastery and so on, their skills if you want. Or maybe you can uh, have uh, some online evaluation, whatever. Uh, but after that, you have to ask yourself, uh, okay, what is the evidence that uh, this girl or this boy can do that, uh, this or that good? C can we somehow have a digital evidence of what they are doing? Yes, we can. That's what digital badges are for. This is one of uh, a... Uh, about 1,000 digital badges that we issued to our students who are students of programming and uh, who went through our course uh, on advanced uh, Java programming, uh, practicing their Java skills, and also uh, developing, in a way, uh, their soft skills. We did not uh, pay attention on uh, a variety of soft skills, but we wanted to uh, find how good they are in collaboration, in, the, in the, uh, real world problem solving, uh, in communication, and uh, we just picked a couple of those soft skills. You click uh, on a badge. It says here, uh, what is this Maven? That's, uh, that's a technology in uh, Java programming. Uh, but let me try to find one related uh, to some, yeah, how about this one, collaborator? And this guy, his name is, uh, what is his name, Dragutin Todorovic, okay, uh, one of our ex-students, he got this badge for uh, being a good collaborator. Can I click here <coughs> to find out what is this badge about? It says that this uh, collaborator bronze badge, and of course, uh, you will easily uh, infer that th there are collaboration silver and gold badges. That's how you grade all that. This guy uh, has earned that badge because he uh, is capable of sharing responsibility and so on and commits uh, his time and effort uh, to working in a team. Uh, that's the description of what it means to get uh, this uh, level of, uh, of a badge, which is a, a kind of a grade. Uh, but the best part is hidden somewhere underneath this. Uh, what is the digital evidence that he is capable of doing this or that? And that's the point. If you click here on this uh, evidence, and then somewhere here, there will be some way uh, to find out how through his programming code in programming in a team, uh, we concluded, and uh, his or her peers concluded that he's a good collaborator up to the bronze level, all right? So there is a digital evidence of uh, those skills. Uh, one other thing, 
we uh, did it, no, not there, here. We uh, did the GRASS project uh, with uh, collaboration with uh, um, well, eight different teams. One, uh, ours was uh, just one of them. We had uh, uh, four different uh, European countries participating in the project. In each country, we had uh, a uh, primary or secondary school establishment uh, as a participant in the consortium. We also had a university. So people from uh, Ireland, Croatia, uh, Sweden, and Serbia participated in the project. Uh, teachers from uh, primary schools, secondary schools, and uh, universities. And we graded soft skills uh, of uh, our different populations of, of uh, students. So we developed uh, dozens of those digital uh, badges, and uh, we successfully uh, managed to somehow uh, make at least the first step to capturing through those badges uh, what those soft skills are and how they relate to uh, specific hard skills. Uh, one last thing, uh, and uh, then I'll uh, give floor to, to somebody else. Uh, this is not uh, really everything. Uh, the point is that uh, we did have to have some model, uh, some uh, approach to actually grading, assessing and grading those soft skills. You may wonder, wh what did we do? Uh, well, um, this is again technology that, that helped us uh, do that. Uh, there is technology, at least in programming, uh, which is uh, uh, which our course was about, there is a technology that uh, can actually indicate with a certain level of certainty, right, uh, how good someone is in collaborative work, how good someone is in leading uh, the team, how good someone is in showing enthusiasm and so on. Uh, let me uh, just give you one, one uh, single line of explanation. Uh, for each soft skill, you can uh, somehow measure combined with hard skills, how much they contribute. If, they, if for example, they work uh, in a team, how many lines of code uh, do they contribute to uh, the team project? Maybe that indicates one way or another their level of uh, commitment and collaboration in that team. Or uh, how many instructions from the team leader the other team members have got? Maybe that indicates uh, their level of uh, leadership in the team and so on. There is software, that's what I'm telling you. There is software, is uh, an application that actually shows you uh, with, again, some level of uh, certainty how good uh, they were in these soft skills. And that's how we uh, did it. Uh, my time has run up, so uh, I'll uh, stop here.